Hello, I'm Douglas Knight. At the St Augustine Institute next Friday 19th of November, I'm going to talk about the economic crisis and Christian responses. Two delicious topics that I'm going to roll up into one. First point, where to begin? Mm, people tend to begin with finance and then perhaps towards the end slap on a little Christian consideration. Is finance the right place? Well, banks are there to allocate capital to the rest of the economy. The strange and interesting thing is that the financial sector has been growing as a proportion of the whole economy, and particularly growing quickly in the last 10 years. What's the reason for that then? Is perhaps the growth of the financial sector a manifestation of something going on in the underlying economy? Well, I'll tackle that one. Second point. I'll call it demography. We've just been moving out of a sweet spot in lot, which lots of people have been in active work in the economy but are now slipping into retirement and behind them comes a rather smaller cohort of people who are going to be in work and paying the taxes we hope to support them. I think that a large number of these baby boomers between the age of 50 and 70 have sneakily, individually begun to realise that and been looking for faster ways to make the money that puts them ahead of the crowd and will enable them to buy in the care they're going to need in their retirement and old age. I think that realisation is what's driving this sudden expansion of the financial sector. There's another thing. Uh, have you noticed we've been exporting our industry for some years? Is that sustainable just for us? within the nation, culturally. Work's a good thing, right? It puts you together with workmates, gives you a sense of community and purpose, uh, gives you money in your pocket, gives you the confidence perhaps to settle down with somebody and start a family in a household. And that is the beginning of the economy. Yes, right there, the household where you and your partner decide to embark on the great adventure of creating the next generation. You make children. Not only that, you make adults because you eventually turn them into dynamic, enterprising economic agents. And the whole present economy rests on the promise and the hope that there will be more of these precious beings, active economic agents in the future than in the past. But the question is, will there? Have we so enjoyed our culture to give one another the confidence to make children and make a active future economic population? Well, that's the question. If we haven't, then of course we could talk about the rise of the market into the household and the rise of the state into the responsibility of the individual and there you would have an underlying set of causes for the reason the economy has diverted so much of its strength into the financial sector. Now that's just to talk about causes of the economic crisis. And that, my dears, is not nearly as interesting as talking about Christian responses. Where to begin there? Well, Christians have a very high view of man. Humankind cannot be divorced from responsibility, cannot let the market do everything, can't let the market into the household can't let the state mm, make it difficult for us to be independent, self-subsistent, generous beings. Know that old high view of man that comes from the Christian gospel, in which man is made in the image of God, that is the crux of the Christian diagnosis of the economy. Because Christians say, underneath the economy, there's always culture, which is the decisions we make about our own calling, and the confidence that comes from them. Um, but that's enough surely for a taster. Friday 19th, 3 o'clock, uh, I'll, I'll say as much more as I can and you and I can talk and discuss together and we can disagree and find out what else Christians have to say on this important and exciting issue of the Christian response to the economic crisis. Till then, au revoir.